Hello everybody, welcome to episode number 4 of the Pentagon Challenge. And in today's episode, we start the episode managing Pont Evadra. And I'm going to say it right now, I have no intentions to stay with the club for too long. We did get them promoted, though, at the end of the season. We only did 6 games with them. Yeah, but in the last episode... We did have one team that we did manage the entire episode. And I say the entire. I meant the majority. But that was Venados. Yeah, we did awful with him. Yeah. And we just leave it at that. But, if we look at the job centre, I've applied for one of them jobs that are available. Because it's the only one that's interesting. And that is the Suwon job. The, the Suwon FC club, who are in the Korean 2nd division, and currently sit ninth in the table. So, that's that job seems most interesting out of all of them there. But, if the worst, if the worst, if nothing happens, well, we will stay at this team. Pontivdra. I think, I think that's the better way of saying it. And I got a clue. But we're going to go until there's like some sort of um, update regarding any jobs. So there has been no news on any jobs yet. But as per the end of the season, I'm going to show you who won all five of the Champions Leagues. So the big one, the UEFA Champions League, was won by Bayern Munich and they beat Barcelona in the final. In the Copa Libertadores, it's COR, I can't remember their full name, if I click on it, it should say, no it won't. Well, COR, whatever their full name is, they won it against, who was it in the final again? Um, Sao Paulo FC. The um, Asian Champions League was won, won by the Western Sydney Wanderers from Australia. <laughs> that was a, not the best of accents, but it'll work. The African Champions League was won by the Sundowns. So, of course, they are in South Africa. Yeah, they are. I might double check that one. And oh, it's rolling down again. Now I just have to remember which one is the North American Champions League. I'm pretty sure it's NACL. Yeah, North American Champions League. Oh, for God's sake. But that was won by the New York... Red Bull New York. So then... A job off from any of them teams would be absolutely perfect. Except for COR because they will not be in the game because they are Brazilian. I know that much about them. So yeah, again, transfer news will be at the end of the transfer window, unless we have a new job. So then we've got a job offer, and I think this one's a good one. It is in the Mexican Expansion League again, so it won't be too much of a change, but I did have a job offer before, and that was in one of them newly promoted teams into the second division of South Africa. And I, and I was going to accept it, but then I thought, there's, there's better jobs out there that I could get for reputation-wise. And I think this is it. This is the job that is good for us. The board expects a serious challenge for the title. And, well, I'm happy to give it to them if I can do it. Current... Krem Cameo Cam Inos Kerry Caminos appoint Hammer FM as manager. You know I'm really bad at these names. Yeah. Them are the clubs available, the Real Madrid one was available. I mean, they probably won't call me. Yeah. That's unfortunate, because that one would have been like the challenge, just easy, an easy mode. 
But then let's have a quick look at the team then. I want it on stars. So then, looking at their goalkeepers, they do have four goalkeepers. This is probably going to be the main one. Alexis Andrada. Andrada. Oh, how do you think? Okay, so he's quite decent. Right back. Got two options, three options, but one of them, star wise, is not as good. And Jose Eduardo Castillo. Will probably be our main one. 11 crossing, 9 dribbling, 11 positioning, 12 pace, 9 stamina. Nice. So kind of middle there. Left back, Andy Garcia. Okay. 15 decision making, 15 positioning. I think we've got a player there. Put that back into that view. And Luis Alonso. 15 aerial, 16 decisions, 15 positioning. <laughs> I, can, I can start seeing why this board is uh, looking for promotion. Alexis Del Angel. 11 aerial, 14 tackling, 12 decisions, 11 positioning. Wow. End in centre back, Alan Aguila. Okay, so he doesn't look as good, but still decent ish player. Another centre midfielder, 31 year old. Yeah. Joe. How do you say it? It's like Jorge, isn't it? Alberto Sanchez. I'll just say Alberto Sanchez. Martin Rodriguez, 12 tackling, he's more of a defensive midfielder, um, Benjamin Galdamez, 13 passing, 14 decisions, good play there, and uh, the winger, he can play on both sides of the wing, he says, Daniel, Amada. And we've also got Martin Zuniga. 13 aerial, 13 shooting movements. Turn. So now I don't think we've got a bad squad here. I think this is definitely one that could definitely push for the title if I get the tactic right. And at the moment, that's not the right tactic. Probably, yeah. So the suggestion of Gagan Press there, so I will go with a Gagan Press. And there wasn't many wingers there, was there? So I'm going to go maybe maybe a 4-2 four, four, diamond. Um, so I'm going to have a little bit of a mess around with this. And I'll come up with my final, more final little bit of squad. When you next, when I next see you, which will be in the next clip. So then it's the first game in charge of the new team, Corey Kami Nos. I think I think that might be right, but yeah, we are playing against Dorados de de Sim Similoa, and the result. Will be. We will ignore that. Yeah, yeah. Um, pretend that never happened, eh? Yeah, but we did. We did just lose. I don't know why. Let's have a look at this then. So Rodriguez and Galdame scored. They had double the amount of shots, double the amount of shots on target. We had more possession. Uh, that's a bit crap, in it? None of the players really played bad, except when Caesar or Ariaga. 
There are more stats there if you wanted them. Ah, it's a bit crap. And it looks like we were winning at one point of the game. Ah, oh, what a shame. We did get a red card in the 70th minute as well. So yeah, we're just going to have a look at some signings. I mean, at the end of the transfer window, because I, I haven't made any yet, because I've not been here for a while, have I? So it is now the end of the summer transfer window. And now I'm going to sneeze. Oh, hang on. It's gone now. But we have made a couple signings. Um, transfer history. So then, all the ones that you see are loan, the ones that I've done. So, Iker Moreno, we signed him. He is an attacking midfielder. Eduardo Garcia is a goalkeeper, and we signed him on loan. Along with Jahariz Marchand, who is a midfielder. And Jose Eduardo Castillo is a right back. It, he's joining us on the loan again. And Joshua Mancha is a striker slash attacking midfielder who hopefully is quite well, hopefully he can do a job. Joining from Atlas, Alberto Chavez. As a striker. And. Again. We've got another attacking midfielder. I don't know why I've signed so many. But he's got quite strong pace. So that Waldo Madrid. And Diego Gomez. Is joining us on loan as well. He's a midfielder. Along with Edgar Sanchez. He was a bloody right back. Why do I sign so many players? Although he might have been on, in on loan before. Because I don't remember signing him. And I click on the stuff now. But yeah, so far, since our first game, we've won one, drew one, and lost two. So yeah, that's been no good. So then, we're going to go a month, or a couple, I don't know. And we'll be back then. So now there's the first time I'll be playing against a former team in this in this save. And possibly one of the only times, except from later in the season, of course. We are playing against the team we've we got sacked against last, if you don't count that in between team. But yeah. Hopefully we can win this game. And I'll show you the result after. Uh, fifth minute goal by Real Torres and then Vanados got the win oh, what a shame so it's the 20th of November and we've qualified for the Mexican Expansion League opening stage preliminary round now I mean my guess is as good as yours I ain't got a clue what that means But the only thing that I know is it's the end of the, what's it called, the opening stage, and we came eighth. Yeah, so not the best, but it still is a playoff round, because I'm pretty sure it's top 12 get playoffs, top four, top four get, um, flip. Automatically put into the quarterfinals. So, who have we got again? I've forgotten. Right, this team. Quamarond. I know I pronounced it that awfully. So it'd be very nice to win that because you, you should aim to win every football match you're playing. And especially when you don't know the rules, it becomes even more important. Because, I don't know, the winner of this like, little league thing could get 
a promotion or something. I, I don't know. I'm just thinking of ideas. Because if I click on Mexico, yeah, there's nothing on there. To, so maybe something new with this. No. No, there's nothing on there to suggest that it's some sort of competition as well. So, I mean, we're just going to go into it and hope for the best. So then we did win that match 1 0. Goal from Chavez in the 87th minute. So, yeah, that was a um, very, very pressure goal there. And really, really well needed goal. So, I don't know what happens now because there's nothing. Oh, did it say that? We have a through to the quarterfinals after a 1 0 win. So I'm just going to go a couple of days and see if it tells us who we are playing against. Hopefully it's a team that we've not lost to. Oh, we've got a draw. We've got a draw. Yes, I would love to attend a draw. Start. Oh, okay. We're playing against... Altanos Tapa. Which is a team that I've managed before. Not in this save in particular, but before it is a double legged affair. So, yeah. And only a three day gap in between. This is the quarterfinals, so. Yeah, I reckon we could win this. But, I mean, I've said that for a few matches. So, I'll show you the results of the first leg when I've done it. So. A 5-2 win means we've got a three-goal advantage going into the second leg now. And, I mean, we've got to really screw this up now to um, lose it. Which, hopefully, Real Madrid will do against Liverpool and whenever the second leg happens. Yay. But, yeah, we did play better that game. Eight average overall for the team. Fifteen shots. Seven of them shots being on target. And yeah, about right about fifty percent average uh, possession. Sorry. So yeah, we're gonna go now into the second leg and see the result there. So then, we did lose two 0 in that game, but it doesn't matter though because we are through to the semi finals. And hopefully, we will play a bit better. Because if we look at the report, yeah, we had fifteen shots, twelve of them being on target. Oh no, sorry, I was reading the wrong. <laughs> the wrong side then, that was a ta tapper. We had 11 shots and only 5 in one target and an average of 6.9. And they had 7.4. So yeah, for the next round, for the semi-finals, we need to be a bit less scrappy. And actually score a goal. I haven't got a clue when this second leg's going to, when the semi-finals are going to happen. But I guess we're just going to find out, because in the draw... We're gonna play. Oh, we're gonna play Dredos. Pretty sure it was the first team we played. Nice. And that'll be played in two days' time. So then I'll I'll come to you after the game with the result. So then a one one draw leaves us a bit to do in the final leg of the semi final. But we did have the same amount of shots, that being 8, same amount of shots on target, that being 6, and we did play better looking at team rating. So, in the second leg, we definitely do want a win. Nothing more than a win will be as good. Because I don't know if there's any sort of away goal rule. I think I can check on rules. Higher league position team wins if scores 11 after 90 minutes. Uh, okay, so let's have a look at the league. Oh, okay. <laughs> they are top of the league. Ah, nice. That's really nice. So then we... This is a must win. We need to win this second lug. So then, for this leg, we uh, I will 
Uh, I'll tell you the result after I've done it. Um, the Mexican Expansion League is my, officially my least favourite league in the game. Because we have been defeated in the opening stage, but if we have a look here, we won 1-0. And on aggregate, we won 2-1. But that means that we lost somehow. I mean... Yeah, I ain't got a clue how this league works, if you can tell. If we read this, it says... Correa Cam Caminos lost in the Mexican expansion lead, opening stage semi-finals by... Being the lower seeded team after drawing with the Dorados. So then, if anybody's got an idea, or if you are Mexican, or if you are familiar with the Mexican League, oh, help me please with the rules. I mean, I'm, after this video, I'm definitely going to have a look at their website if they have one. Or just Google in general, because that's really confused me, that has. How can you win 2-1 on aggregate and still lose? I mean, this might just be a bug in the game. I'll, I'll sim till for like a week in there. But I will, of course, be back on January the 1st for some transfers and that. So yeah, we'll see then and we'll see if it is a bug or not. Well, I mean, it's happened again in the other game. It's 2-1 two, two, to Venados, but... They've won. If I show you the league. Then I lost the other on top now. I, I, don't, I don't know, I must have read that one wrong. January the 1st, it will be back. Well, that's the first leg of the final. And none of the teams that actually won an aggregate are in the final. So, I mean... Yeah, it, it, this has really confused me if you haven't told... If you haven't... But, though, in the second leg of the final, they can actually count in an aggregate. Dorados have won 3-1, so... I don't know what their prize is, if you have a look on rules. Um... It didn't say anything. Okay. Because I'm... I should be in the final. I've got a... Stage. Knockout phase. Final. But, mm, there is a way to do this, I promise you. So what you do is you click on the league. View. No. Stage. Knockout. Rules. And that would normally show you the rules for the knockout stage, but... Well, I'm completely baffled. But is there any logo on here to suggest that they got promoted? No. General info? No, nothing. And I got a clue. But at least we lost to the eventual wins of that. So, so now we're going to January the 1st. It's close enough to January the 1st for me to start thinking about transfers. And we're not going to come back on January the 1st because we're going to start doing transfers now, now and then. Yeah. And there is some more transfer news for 90k. We're going to be selling George Alberto Sanchez, the experienced midfielder, 31 year old, for 90k to Atlantis. Yeah, I mean, he was a good player. I mean, it's a bit off the wage bill as well. He only scored two goals, seven assists, seven for his... Um, actually, he was midfielder, wasn't he? So, yeah, he, he was quite decent, but I'm, I'm not turning down 90k for a 31-year-old. Because he will one day be out of a job. Here. And we also do have a lot of... Quite a few players who can play in that position who are of similar... Uh, similar decency. 
So then today is the start of the second half of the season and the second half being the closing stage of the expansion league. And we are gonna Hey, we won. Three 0 Diego Gomez scoring and Chavez scoring two. All of them all three goals in the first six minutes. That's not bad, is it? Puts the second in the league. And hopefully this time we'll get promoted. Or at least do better in that little little thing. You know, that mini tournament that's confusing as... F confusing really bad. Yeah. So then, if there is any major stories, I will come back for them. So it's the end of the transfer window now, and I'm just going to have a really, really quick run through of the transfers that we made, because this episode is very, very long. And they're all just a bunch of free transfers, Bosman ones as well. And I'm just trying to find them a sec. And there you go, it's all them ones there in the middle from... Uh, from Torres down, all the way up to Jean Carlos Pones. So press pause in the video now if you'd like to see all of them. But yeah, that, them are all the transfers. Now we're going to go to the end of the season. So we almost bottled it, but we have qualified for the quarterfinals. In the last three games, we still have one game remaining in the normal season. But in the last five games, we have had three losses, allowing the opposition to catch up with us. And they were big losses as well. But yeah, since last time we saw us, yeah, we've been on quite a run. We've won a lot of games in a row there. Specifically, it is eight. Eight unbeaten run there. At the start of the season, we did four wins, a loss, three wins, draw, four wins, loss, two wins, loss, loss, and then whatever the result is for the next game. So that has booked us into a place for the quarterfinals of the promotion thing. But. Of course, topping the league does not matter, unless you draw, and it clearly does matter. But, now we put all focus onto the quarterfinals, and do we get a trophy for coming top of the expansion league? For the second half, sorry. Uh, are you clicking on Tyler? What are you clicking on? Uh, no one, I don't even think we got promoted. Oh, wait a minute. No. I don't know if we are the ones getting promoted or not. Uh, this could be decided by this knockout stage thing. Because you see, I do not know the league at all. I do imagine it's been Dora, Dus, that are getting promoted. Because they topped the first one. And also did quite decent in the second one. But the only thing that has been confirmed is relegation. They averaged the lowest they did. So they get relegated. I know that rule. Because that's the one I learned the first time I was here. So then it is the quarter final draw now. And who are we playing? We're not in that game. We're not in that game as well. We are playing against Dorados. The team that knocked us out of the earlier playoff thing. Whatever it was. So, this is going to be a difficult game. Like all in games that we play against Lees for some reason. And well I'm gonna show you the result when the match is over. So then a goal from Martin allowed us to go one nil up in the eighty fourth minute in the late stage of the match. Allowing us to clinch the victory in the first leg. But it all comes down to the second leg now. I mean I don't want to draw, I just want to win so I know that I'm through. 
although there's probably some silly law, uh, silly law, some silly rule that stops us from getting through. Because that's just what I've learned. Although we did top the closing stage, so hopefully. And also, look at the confidence. Now, I wish I'd never shown you that now. But, it, they've got a B overall, so uh, that's quite good. An A for transfer, so ha ha ha. I don't know why I laughed like that. That was a bit weird. But then, Dorados. It's the second leg. I'll show you the result after the game. So then, with a 1 0 win on aggregate. Because we drew the game. If you have a look at the report, there's no goals. <laughs> yeah. And so we won. So now we're just waiting for the draw. So we can see who we are playing in the semi finals. Oh, the youth prospects, these are all a bit, a bit of crap. Release, 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 promote, release. There you go. And it's semi final time. For the draw, at least. And we're playing against Cimarroni. And that'll be in three days time. But for you, the results will be right now. And it was a 3-3 draw. Let's have a look at the report. Oh my god. It's like Istanbul. Oh my god. We were winning 3-0. Uh, and then by the 67th minute they scored one. Then in the 72nd minute they scored again. Then the 75th they scored again. Oh my life. Well, well done to them, but how have we let that one go? Come on, that's poor, that is. So, now we're just going to have to hope we do good in the second leg. And, well, see, so yeah, I'll show you that result. They're right now. So then, after drawing 4-4 four, four in aggregate, we have won. And we are into the final. And the final will be against Mineros. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm going to be confident going into the final. I can't remember off the top of my head the re last result we played against Mineros. And to be honest, I'm too scared to check. So I'm just going to go straight into the game. And while well, the next clip you'll see is going to be. The first leg result. And it's another free free draw. Hopefully this one we were like three nil down instead of three nil up. <sighs> Just how have we done it again? This one's even worse. Cause he scored all their goals within the final eight minutes of the game. God's sake. So now we just need at least a draw in the final. And, well, I don't know. If we've just lost that, that lead like we did, then we could do anything. So yeah, I'm going to show you the results after this clip. So then, I've finally figured out why there is two of these knockout things. It's because we've won the Expan Expansion League closing stage, but I don't think we're promoted yet. And we also won by a... You're not going to tell us? No? 2-1 in the second leg. Goals coming from Rodriguez and Martin. And... So that's 5-4 on aggregate. So I mean that's quite decent. So does that put me something on my trophy list? Yes. We got a trophy. But are we promoted? I don't know. I don't know. That's that's going to be Uh -huh. No, I don't know what happens now. 
Mexico. Champions Trophy. So we've qualified for the Al Champions Trophy. Which is like the second division title, this one. And I assume the winner of this one gets promoted to the top division. But um, I don't have a clue. And I this is a really long episode, I do apologise. I, um, I don't know what I am doing. The rules in this league are so confusing. So confusing, but... Will we turn out winners? You'll find out right now. Well, not now, just after the clip. So then, the first leg was a nil-nil draw. No one scored. We were the bet team, if looking at team rating. I mean, looking at shots, you'd think it's an even game. Actually, it was good, nil-nil. So the second leg now, a result must come out of this one. It must come out. And I mean, I reckon, I reckon whoever scores a goal, if we get promoted, it'd be nice, but whoever scores the winning goal on this, if it's like 1-0 or something, or if there's, it goes to a penalty shootout, I reckon they'll be in the um, Hall of Fame for this season. Diogo Gomez, 55-minute goal. Gives us a 1-0 win in the old Champions Trophy. Well done to, to us for winning that. That's fantastic. Absolute fantastic. So now, what we need to do is we need to click on random things and see that we are promoted to the top flight. Come on! That's absolutely fantastic. We are into the top flight of Mexican football. And I've clicked on the wrong thing right there. Because I needed to click on Mexico. And you can see our name just there. And also there is two winners of the expansion league. Because you got the first part and the second half. So if football manager for next year, if you actually care, you put slash there and put the other team. So yeah, because he scored that goal, Diego Gomez, welcome to the Hall of Fame. 21-year-old who was on loan from ne Necker Axa, the midfielder. 15 passing, well that's quite, quite good, and 16 decision making. Yeah, he'll definitely be a big player in whatever competition he plays in next. But yeah, this has been a really successful year. Of course, I was expecting to get sacked again at the start of the year. I wasn't very confident, but we've come out with a cup win, which secured a promotion and a league win. And I mean, I couldn't ask for more. So thank you. Thank you everybody for watching this video. And I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.